Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mad Scientist Brewing Beer Education Series. This week is 207 Beer Week, and in honor of that, I'm going to be highlighting the Maine beer industry, including the history of beer in Maine and highlighting some of my favorite places all across the state. Maine was where the Prohibition movement in the U.S. really got started, with the total ban on alcohol being pushed in 1851. Although the so-called Maine Law was repealed in 1856, Prohibition remained in one way or another until it was written into the state constitution in 1885. Prohibition would remain in the state until the 21st Amendment to the U.S. Constitution repealed Prohibition across the country. Even after that, the effects of Prohibition meant that small local breweries had been shuttered, and only large national breweries survived and dominated the market with bland, pale lagers for decades. When home brewing became legal again in the 1970s, it launched a generation of innovative brewers who were able to start brewing something different and with more flavors. Most of these brewers were familiar with the British method of brewing and British styles. So it's not surprising that the first brewery to open in Maine, D.L. Geary Brewing Company, focused on British styles. At the time, Geary's was the first brewery to open east of the Mississippi since Prohibition, when there were only a handful of breweries left in the country. Today, there are over 8,000 breweries in America and over 150 in Maine thanks in part to the legalization of brewery taprooms here in 2011. After Geary's, other British-style breweries opened, including Grady McDuff's and Shipyard. In 1985, Rob Todd shook things up by adding a Belgian wit beer to the market, something that most Americans were highly unfamiliar with. He persevered, and now Allagash White is one of the most respected examples of the style, and accounts for 80% of their production. Breweries in Maine have since expanded to all 16 counties. And with the collaboration of the Maine Brewers Guild, new breweries have continued to open every year, even during the pandemic, in part because of the collaborative spirit of Maine Brewers. The Maine Brewers Guild divides the state into eight regions, so I wanted to showcase one of my favorite breweries from each region. The first is the Maine Beaches region, and my pick is Nice Brewing Company in Limerick. Founded in 2013, this brewery has focused on German style beers, as well as keeping up with modern brewing trends. Their flagship beer, Nice Weiss, is a great example of the Weiss beer style, and can be enjoyed at the taproom or in cans from retailers. Next is the Greater Portland region. This is home to so many of the brain breweries, and it's hard to choose just one, but today I'm going to go with Foundation Brewing Company in Portland. Founded in 2014, with decades of homebrew experience behind them, Foundation is one of the cornerstones of the Industrial Way breweries. One of their year-round beers is Riverton Flyer, a pilsner which keeps true to the flavors of the European classic. The next region is the Maine Lakes and Mountains region, and my pick for this is Norway Brewing Company. This family-owned brewery in downtown Norway is open year-round with an outdoor beer garden and indoor restaurant featuring locally sourced ingredients. Their newly released for 2023 Triple Stack is a Belgian-style triple with triple editions of maple syrup to invoke a plate of pancakes. The next region is the Midcoast, which is another hard choice due to so many great breweries being here, but my pick is Marshall Wharf Brewing Company in Belfast. Housed in a historic waterfront building, this brewery produces small batch recipes and has over two dozen varieties on their menu. Combined with food in their waterside taproom, it's easy to spend a few hours there. Sexy Chaos, Russian Imperial Stout, and its many iterations are excellent options to choose from and to sip slowly. Next is the Kennebec Valley region and Bateau Brewing in Gardner. This tap room and brewery is perched above the Kennebec River and was founded in 2019 by four beer enthusiasts. Bateau produces a wide variety of beers, including Crowhawk Red Ale, which is one of the finest versions of the style that I've tried here. The next region is the Maine Highlands, and my pick is Turning Page Farm in Monson. Located off the beaten path not far from Moosehead Lake, this farm features a small brewery where one can sit outside and enjoy their beer in the company of chickens and goats. They rotate four to six beers on throughout the year, with tipped over pale ale being one of their original and most popular beers. Next is the Down East and Acadia region, and I have to go with one of my favorite Maine breweries, Atlantic Brewing Company in Bar Harbor. Opened as Acadia Brewing in 1990, it quickly grew to become the dominant beer producer on Mount Desert Island and in the region with a mix of traditional English styles as well as American favorites. Atlantic uses an amber ale as their base for their blueberry ale, 
which has a wonderful aroma and not overpowering or cloying blueberry flavor. The last region is northern Maine, which has the fewest breweries of the Maine region, so it's hard to pick one and not slight the other, uh, but I wanted to highlight Northern Maine Brewing Company in Caribou this time. This brew pub has a state-of-the-art system and a fantastic assortment of beers and locally sourced food. After the long drive from Wiscasset, it was a welcome reprieve to visit. Their Aroostook Lager is an easy-drinking lager that would pair well with much of their extensive food menu. With so many excellent breweries in Maine, it's hard to choose just eight to highlight here. I hope that this week you've had a chance to sample some Maine-made beer, attend beer-related events across the state, and appreciate the brewing culture that is entrenched here. And I will be doing so myself uh, later on this week in Portland. Uh, so until then, and until next time, cheers.